popping. Let me get this thing going. Waiting on everybody to come on in. How's everybody living? Waiting on everybody to come on in. We're doing the tap in with Tariq. How's everybody doing this lovely, lovely afternoon? Glad to have everybody tuning in. Oh, got other computers and stuff going on. Hope you guys are having a good week so far, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys have been productive. What's up, Nikki the God? Shout out to a lot of the regulars in the room. Won't be on too, too long. Just want to do a quick check-in. I like to check in with the, the family regularly to make sure you guys are good, to see what's on your mind. And again, we'll take some calls shortly. Um, by the way, oh, we got the right wing dude in here. Why don't you get on right wing dude? Because you're always commenting right angle news network. What's up right angle news network? Why don't you hop in and, and say a few words? Because you, you're always in our mentions. You stay in black business. So you might as well you know, um, speak and say what's on your mind. So Right Angle News Network, why don't you hop on? If you'd like to hop on, that would be great. What's up, Afro Elite? <clears throat> I see you, brother. But yeah, this guy right here, he stays in black business. He's always commenting on things in our community, and he has a lot of stuff to say with them Twitter fingers. But again, I invite you to come on to say whatever you got to say now and stand on it and stand on business. So the invite is there. But listen, 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 a lot of stuff going on. Um, did y'all see that video clip of Jonathan Major? Jonathan Major... Brother Jonathan Major is going through it with that that psychotic Becky. You know, he's going through that court trial, the psychotic Becky tried to put a lot of allegations on him. And then there was video released of him running from her. He was running to try to get away from that psychotic Becky trying to attack him. And, you know, the interesting thing, that footage, TMZ and all of those people, they didn't have that footage for a minute. I get these people didn't have that footage for a minute and they're just now releasing it. Um, it the, the woman was clearly the aggressor in the situation. And again, there were a lot of people trying to jump on the feminism bandwagon against our brother Jonathan, trying to jump on that wave. We gotta be very careful about that. When the dominant society creates a certain narrative we as black folks we got to be very careful not to jump on that bandwagon and try to dog pile because a lot of people are doing that with, with diddy and we should be very careful with that too because that whole thing with diddy let's be clear a lot of that is a money grab a lot of it is a lot of it is a money grab and then there's a lot of black folks they know that it's a money grab and but you'll go along with the program because you see, hey, it's another uh, a, a wealthy black person um, getting put in their place. And secretly, there's a lot of black people who like to see that. You like to see a, a wealthy black person get taken down a peg, especially somebody who's real flossy. It's like, yeah, I know some of these allegations are bogus, but yeah, put that nigga in, in his place. That kind of thing. So we got to be very careful about co-signing that because... Um, these things could happen. These false allegations and accusations, they can be levied upon us at any time. So we got to be very, very careful about that because the dominant society, well, they stay on code. I want y'all to notice, you don't see nobody in white society saying anything negative about that white woman. Have you noticed that? Nobody in white society, even though they see the woman chasing Jonathan Major down the street and she being the aggressor, they're still on code with her ass. They are not speaking out against her. They stay on code. So it's up to us to understand the power of codification. Speaking of codification, shout out to um, the, the brothers and sisters down in Georgia who convicted that suspected white supremacist. What's her name? Hannah. 
what is Hannah's name? The the white woman who shot our brother down there. It was a brother who was in a little fender bender and he was, um, I think he was having some kind of medical emergency and he wanted to um, um, go get help from what I understand. And this white woman tried to be the female George Zimmerman and went and chased the brother down. She went and chased him down and then just shot this brother in cold blood. Hannah Payne, that's her name. So she thought she was going to be the, the female Zimmerman. Shot that 62-year-old brother. And by the way, Right Angle News, the, the, the person in here, Right Angle News, you were kind of co-signing that low key. That's why I want you to get up in here. I would like for you to get up in here and stand on all of that stuff you be talking about, brother. You, you get quiet as a church mouse when it's time to stand on that business. But um, it's, a, it's an interesting dynamic. What's up, C.C. Freeman? I see you down there. Um, it's a very interesting dynamic. Um, let me get, I'm going to get my brother Afro Elite on here in a minute. Also, um, did y'all see what happened with Draymond Green? Did, did they suspend? I knew they were going to suspend him. They suspended Draymond Green, didn't they? Draymond is a menace. What is wrong with this nigga? I, I, now, I can't co-sign the stuff he's doing. He's smacking folks up and all that. Draymond, he's a menace. What is he doing? He's almost worse than Grayson Allen. So Draymond is smacking folks and elbowing him and putting folks in headlocks. This dude, what is he doing? That brother's doing the damn most. But yeah, from what I understand, they did they suspend him indefinitely? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna put some punishment on dude because he is actually doing the most. He he's trying to get them licks in like the white boys. No, the Grayson Allens and those guys they get to do all that year after year. You know, with, with, with the brother, you can't do that now. They threw that suspension on that ass real fast. Yeah. But I digress. Let's get um Harrison Berrington. What's your name? I, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. <clears throat> Harrison. What up, Tariq? What's going on? Long time, no talk. My man, how are you, Mr. Harrison? I'm very good. How about, how about you? I no, just, great, I, I honestly just hopped on. I, I follow you. So I saw you were on a space and I like to jump into your spaces and have a discussion. Um, try to come together, um, bring people together. That's what I'm all about. So yeah, I, I wanted yeah. to, I heard you talking about this Hannah Payne case. Um, so George Zimmerman, I saw your tweet actually. Um, six-year-old black man after he left the scene of a track. So he, he was in the wrong, correct? He, he committed a crime and left the scene of an accident. And then what I, what I said, she, I commented and I said, mm -hmm. I said, she blacked out. You see what I'm saying? She blacked out. She went black on you. This is a black people move, right? This is what black people do. So you don't like it when white people behave like black people, do you? Well, you're just being regular white supremacist. Uh, no, I'm just asking that's you a question. Stupid. Black people do this kind of shit all the time. So you have a problem with it when black white what? people? Well, oh, you didn't see those two. Black you didn't see those two little hoodlums black. ran down the the man riding his bicycle. Hold on, hold on. Let's put the meth pipe down for a second. Let's put the meth pipe down. Come on now. That meth gets you real hyped up. Listen, listen, I, now, listen, listen. Now, I'm straight edge. I'm straight edge, and I'm double your IQ. So. You, of course you are, and that's why you're in that nice trailer home you're in now. But um, so you're trying to justify your your fellow suspected white supremacist shooting a uh, innocent black man in cold blood. That's what you're saying, Harrison. Harrison, go ahead. Go so ahead, sir. You had me muted. So that's what you're doing. You're trying to justify that cowardly move of her shooting an innocent black man in the chest in cold blood. You're trying to justify that. Um, no, I thought you said, so she, what did she do? She shot him or she ran him down and, and, and she shot him or ran him over. She shot him. She didn't okay. run him over. You, so you don't even know the details. Of no, 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 no. You <laughs> said she chased, I was reading your tweet. She, she okay. chased him down. Okay. So, I so, thought, so, so you're just white supremacist babbling at this point. No, you don't I'm even not. Know the details no, of the case. no, I'm not. I'm so, reading so your what, tweet. What are, you, what are you babbling about Harrison? Harrison, what do you, I don't have you muted by the way. 
you do have me muted. You keep muting me. Okay, um, so listen, I'm just trying to have a conversation, a civil conversation with you, an intelligent conversation with you. That's all. No, no, I'm no. Just you're, asking. You're, getting, you're getting very hostile. You're getting very hostile, and I, I need you to put down the fentanyl if you're going to talk and have a decent conversation. So you got to calm down, but go ahead. Listen, I'm very relaxed. Okay. Now, other than white supremacist babble, did you have anything constructive you wanted to say, sir? This guy keeps muting me after every word I say. So we we can hear you perfectly, sir. It's the right acoustics. In. It's the acoustics in that trailer park. It's it's echoing. It's confusing. <laughs> me. That's what it is. Uh, can you turn your your motor off uh, in your trailer park? This, if this you guy, can turn this, your motor you, off. I forgot you were a stand-up comedian because I mean you know I'm double your IQ, right? I know, I, and, I know and, this. And I know I'm double this. your network. I'm double your network. And, and I'm double your birth rate. So we're twins. How about that? Go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Low Birth Rate. Because you white supremacists got them low birth rates and them struggle genes over there in them trailer parks, and you're very angry. But go ahead. No, no, I'm not angry at all. I just yes, wanted to have are. a conversation. That's all I wanted yeah, to do is have a conversation with you. That's what we're doing. We're having a so let me just ask you a question. So so when black people murder white people in cold blood, you're okay which, with that? Which doesn't happen that much, but go ahead. What do you mean it doesn't happen that much? We it just added a, it, they, they, these, two, these two hoodlums just ran over an innocent uh, former policeman riding his bicycle. What was that, a couple months ago? You, Did you cover you that story? About? What, are you well, what am I talking about? about? So you're not even covering the news. Do you? Well, no, you're just talking about some kind of random incident that has nothing to do with black people as a group. You're talking about some random thing that has nothing to do with me. What does that have to do with me? Go ahead, Mr. White. Are, are you are you are you suggesting black crime among young men is not an issue? Um, is that what, what you're does, saying? What are you suggesting that black um, black crime is one percent of the black population? We we right. don't commit crime like that, sir. Right. You're, very you're small, one... very small percentage of black people commit crime, but a lot of people in your community practice white supremacy, and that's the problem, sir. So why don't you do anything about white supremacy in your community, Mister Struggle Jeans? Hop on, sir. Come on now, just talk to me. Talk black to me, sir, as our sister. Vicky Dillard would say, talk black to me. Yeah, white supremacy is not a, some cons grand conspiracy theory. It's called reality. It's, it's okay? not even a, right. It's a you want to talk about it's cultural a, appropriation? It's, right. You're, it's not a theory. It's a reality. You're absolutely right. But, okay, what's the cultural appropriation? I got to hear this. Oh, well, do you drive a vehicle? What yes, gives you do. the right to drive a vehicle? That's that's uh, cultural appropriation. How Why so? would you be driving a vehicle? Because you're, so? you're, you're culture appropriating my white race. Are you are you on an iPhone right now? Are you on a computer wait, 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 right now? Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. because the, some of the first people to build cars were black people, the Patterson um, family. Sir, do you know history? Do you know history? Are you really <laughs> trying to go there? Some of the first some of the first people to build quality cars was the Patterson and Company family, and their cars were higher quality than Ford. By the way, sir, do we really want to go there about technology? You you really want to go back to the light bulb? I mean, give me a break, bro. Right, get real. Right. Get real, brother. Look, okay, brother, look up the Patterson Car Company, sir. They were around in the early 1900s, black people. Okay, well, when did Benz create the automobile? Um, Sir, Benz, Mercedes Benz, I don't know if he created the automobile, sir, but. Okay, well, you need to do some history lessons then. Okay, well, sir. So I don't know what they teach you at Bethune-Cookman. I don't even know if you went to college. But I did. You need, I did. Okay, you didn't. Of course, no. It it shows. It shows. I know. Um, yeah, it does. So the whole point is, I'm asking you a simple question. I saw your tweet. I follow you. I like to interact with you. I like to come on your spaces and just have a conversation about reality. Okay. And what, My and question. What's the, and what's the reality, sir? The reality is a white woman murdered a black man who had committed a crime. That's wrong. She's she's in, she's going to be going to jail or prison now. Yes, she that's, is. That's that's good. Okay. That's yeah. called that's called. That's called law and order. Okay, we need right. the same thing in the black community, right? So you're right. Two percent of the population commits about forty percent of the violent crime. Okay, that's, that's young black men. Mathematically, that's young impossible. right? You really, that's, I know you people. Mathematically impossible. We don't commit forty percent of the crime. We get charged with things that are criminalized. We get charged more than you white supremacists. You white supremacists commit way more crime. You simply don't get charged for it, sir. You commit crimes all the time. Drug charges, drug crimes, sex crimes, 
all types of crimes and you get slaps on the wrist. That's part of that whole deal of white supremacy. You don't really get charged for a lot no, of stuff. Now, last time we talked, uh -huh. you tried you try to lump in Jews with white people. And you, you understand that that's not cool. That's, then, that's, that. then define a white person then, sir. You haven't defined what a white person is. Define what a white person is. What makes a person genetically white? Well, what, you tell me. You're the one who's throwing out all the race You're cars. the one who said that a Jewish person wasn't white, so you must have a right. definition. That so you're I don't, caught up on skin what's color. What's the definition? So, right. So what's the definition of a white person genetically? So listen, do you have a problem with black people committing crime, violent, what senseless crime? What is the crime? definition of a white person? So y'all can never answer that question because it's made up. Y'all pick and choose who's right, going well, to What's the definition of a black day. person? What's um, the definition uh, of a black person? Sir, a, a black person is somebody who you guys designated of, as a victim of no, white I didn't designate anybody. Yes, you did. You designated no, I didn't. You, uh, the people who I are never victims had any of white. Slaves. Yes. A victim. No, no uh, I never. Uh, person is a victim of white supremacy that's the definition of a black person okay and that's what i am i'm a victim of white supremacy sir of you and your community and no sir, you're not that's that's called, so, that's, yeah. called a, that's called a that's called a slave mindset you're living um, in that you're living in that old mindset because, okay and because, guess what we're all because, because, because there's a slave owner reality and that comes from you and all no, of that i'm a slave did. too i'm a slave too um sir no you're not no you're not sir you're a slave catcher you have a slave catcher mentality. A lot of you suspected white supremacists try to hold, I didn't own a slave. In the 17 and 1800s, a lot of white people didn't own slaves, but they helped maintain the slave system. They were the guardians of the slave system. They were the ones helping maintain the racial quota and the racial subjugation. They had no financial dog in the fight, but just the psychic benefit of keeping us bogged down. The average non-slave owning white person was doing the lynchings. They were forming the militia groups to go hunt down runaway black people. So the non-slave owning white supremacists were just as complicit as the- I'm from white Massachusetts. We freed sir, the slaves and we en enlightened sir, you. We educated you. We gave you sir, everything. We Massachusetts was one of the hubs of early slavery they got it popping up there in new england that was the financial sector of the slave trade sir that's why all of you white supremacists up there in boston now sir you guys have always been um anti-black races maintaining the status quo as far as slavery sir so don't miss me with that i'm a northern yankee you guys maintained and benefited from it sir and by the way since you are from boston most likely your family's from Holland or um, um, probably, I won't say England, probably Germany. Where, where's your family from initially? Well, where's your, where's your, let me ask you a question. You, okay. You're peddling, why, you're pe no, I, I'm going to answer you. 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 Family. I'm not the farthest thing from it. Farthest thing from it. The point is, you try to peddle this nonsense about being the real Native American, right? Sir, I'm a foundational black American. So I'm a foundational white American then. Sir, you're not. I'm a, a foundational there's white no American. There's no such thing because the oh, white there's people... no, be, no, there's no such thing as a black foundational Native yes, American. No, there's not. No, there's Sir. not. You're lying to your people. How so? There's always been black people. You're on peddling this. lies. <laughs> How or, or are your? What do you mean? How? 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 Yeah, you're sir? not an Indian. Stop saying how, sir. There were black people on this land for thousands of years, based on the white Europeans who came and saw them. Are they liars, sir? Dude, you, I don't know what fucking history books you're reading. You didn't even go to college. Did you graduate high school? Sir, go get a book by one of your fellow white people. Von what Wolf books do you read? What do you um, read? Obama's memoirs? People, you read Barack white Obama's people, memoirs? Leo Werner, white people like Leo Werner, white people like Von Wolk now, who are white. They have no reason to lie. They even said that there were black people here on North and South American lands for thousands of years, sir. Even white people have acknowledged this. So you're, you're trying to take native americans and try to call them black is that what you're talking sir about? there were different forms of native americans here all the native americans didn't look alike sir all of the aboriginal people didn't look alike the whole image of the plains indians the the so-called red-skinned indians that's the whole narrative that a lot of the white supremacists where did you learn this information 
I'm sir, sorry, where did you learn this? Sir, how's your, so uh, listen, I like you. Where, how's your film going? Sir, sir. How's your film going, Tariq? So well documented, sir. I, I, I listen to and look at documents, sir. You look I, at documents, right? How's your I, film? How, how's your film doing? How which that, one have uh, every one of them went number one? Sir. No, I'm at, you, last time I talked to you, you said you were working on some a project. Yeah, I'm, I'm just working, asking you how you're doing. Sir, you're all over the place, but you ducked and dodged. How come you or you white supremacists are ashamed to say where your families are from? Uh, my family's from from Italy, Germany, and Ireland. Uh, sir, y'all always say that y'all mix up all of this stuff. Well, what do you mean? That's where I, I what we have we have we have four grandparents, don't we? Sir, um, when do we they, not have four grandparents? Sir, How did when you they get got, here? When, when they got I understand that none of you have fathers and mothers in your household, but you actually do come from a man and a woman. There's only sir. two sexes. Sir. You come from a man and a woman, okay? And then your each of your parents came from a man and a woman, and then each of their parents came from a man and a woman. You got right. it, right? And sir, um, again, where is your family from? Where Where did they come? I from? just told you when they Germany, got Germany, Italy, and Ireland. When they got from when they got to Ellis Island with that lint in their pockets, where did they come from? Yeah, and then built this fucking country that you no, enjoy. No, they, gave you the freedom. Gave you a free sir, lottery sir, ticket. Took you sir, out of Africa. Sir, you didn't even have freedom. You had to. Your family fled from Italy, and I don't believe the German thing. Ireland, yeah, you guys like to throw in Germany. No, you, you, you're a little old potato famine dude. So I believe Italy and Ireland, but I don't believe the German thing. Y'all like to try to throw that Aryan thing in there. Uh, I think that you're a poor little Irish guy up there in, in Massachusetts, eating potato soup, scratching headlights out of your pubic hair, sir. Is that what it is? <laughs> I like you, dude. I, I really do. You're entertaining. <laughs> Listen, I, I like you. You're cool. We could sit down. We could sit down and face to face, have a cup of coffee and have a good time. Good conversation. I appreciate it. No, listen, this is how we, this is how we talk through our differences. Okay. I yeah. don't care what, what you can say, all the, all the fucking shit you want to say, but I know deep down you actually want to come to some kind of understanding, some kind of common ground here. And I do as well. I care about black Americans. I do. And let me tell you something. Every black American in this room hit the motherfucking lottery, okay, by being here today, okay? And yeah, maybe your ancestors. Yeah. No, 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 no. A lottery. Oh, you want to be born in Ethiopia? No, 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 no. A lottery is when you pay for something at a small rate and then get something rewarded in a large rate. You get something more in return. We didn't win no lottery. Every crumb we've ever received. We built it. You white supremacists hit the lottery. We've never gotten a something for nothing deal. When y'all got off that boat in Ellis Island, fleeing from the slums of Italy with, with lint in your pocket, that was the lottery. You came over here to a million dollars worth of whiteness. So you're projecting, sir. So you should thank Foundation of Black Americans for creating a place where you can come and exercise that million dollars worth of whiteness. If it weren't for us, you would be still in Italy eating some damn spaghetti with a rat sitting in your lap. But go ahead, sir. You want to re really learn something about black culture, you should look into cargo religion culture, right? Cargo religion culture. Learn about that. What, what the so hell is that? Exactly. I'm telling you to learn about it. Listen, I don't have time to explain everything to you, the, the world history and the fucking d d fucking 14 billion years to you. Holy shit. I only got five minutes. I appreciate the microphone and I appreciate the conversation. But let me tell you something. You did hit the lottery. You paid a small price. You paid no price. You didn't pay any price. You were never in chains. You were never enslaved. And you got it all. Sir, my family got this thing from the mud. My family cleared the roads, cleared the brush built the bridges, built the cities, built the railroads, built the infrastructure, became the economy. We weren't a part of the economy. We were the economy. We were actually being sold on Wall Street, sir. We were the economy in this country, sir. And if it weren't for us, again, you still be somewhere in Italy with some leprechaun boots eating a worm sandwich looking at a goddamn rainbow for a pot of gold you understand <laughs> i appreciate it. listen anybody there out there want to do some research on cargo cult 
science, cargo cult phenomena. Okay, you educate yourself, learn a little something, see where you came from. Now, here's here's the deal. Uh, the the bottom line is yes, you didn't pay a damn price. Yes, maybe your ancestors did. Sure, and I'm my. I am my ancestors, sir. Okay, I'm, and that's fine. I, and you know what? They, they paid the price for you to get it all. You hit the fucking lottery. Your ancestors that's not a paid us. That's a small price for you to pay so, to so get a huge my, reward. So you need to thank my beautiful, foundational Black American family for having the tenacity to build this nation from scratch so that your family can flee over here and enjoy all the benefits. You're welcome, sir. It's a complete myth. It's a complete fiction. He's making this all up. You know he's making this up. You're trying to read history, sir. You know the facts. You white supremacists tried to build this thing on your own, and you failed over and over, and you know that's the truth. Show me what you build in this nation or on this land that you were successful at before foundational black Americans were introduced to the picture. Please name it and name the year. Yeah, everything. Now, here's the thing. You want to talk about yeah. cultural appropriate. Let's go back to the cultural appropriation. Oh, how dare you? How dare you use year. an iPhone? How dare you use an iPhone and oh, cult cultural appropriate me? How dare you stop. drive an automobile? How dare you oh. fly a plane? Why are you wearing clothes? Jesus Christ. Why, why sir, are you why are you using a fork and a knife to eat? Sir, Don't cultural appropriate me. Sir, sir, clothes and fashion came from the Moors and they brought that up into Europe. It was it was black. The Moors were Moors. not black. Educate yes, yourself. The they Moors were not black. Yes, no, they, they were. It was black Moors going up there into Europe teaching you fashion because you would wear these old funky, musty ass saddlebags year round. And the Moor said, no, that's musty. Here's some baking soda and something called soap. Wash your ass and put this under your arms and change these clothes for the season. It was the Moors who did that, sir. It was the Moors who said, cut that headlights out of your hair and put a bayang in your shit and style it this way. There were Moors doing that, sir. It's very well documented. Black people. So you're welcome. I, I thank you on behalf of the Moors. Listen, Tariq, I really appreciate you bringing me up, giving me the microphone. Great conversation, yeah. great space as always. I don't want to hog the microphone. I'm sure other people want to jump on. I mean, I can hang yeah. out if you have any questions about real history. But um, I, I, yeah, look, look, just look, yeah, look, throw me a question look, if you want. I, I don't care. No, no, you know, brother, just I'm look, chilling. I, I'm, I'm going to get some other calls. You need to get that ravioli off the stove before it burns up. But if I have any more questions, I will holler at you and I'll let you know. If I need to get some headlights removal tips, then I'll buzz you in again. All right. But thank you so much, brother. I really <laughs> thank you. Oh, these white supremacists, they are just doing the most. Again, you know, they, they like to try to minimize, well, I was in the North. Family, the North was so complicit in the slave trade. Family, let me, I want y'all to research something. Y'all know when they had the, when 9-11 happened, when 9-11 happened in um, 2001, when the planes took down the World Trade Center, when they were doing the rubbish removal, when they were removing all of the the, the rubble from the World Trade Center, family, do y'all know they found a slave ship under the World Trade Center? And the media, they were all, they're very quiet about that. I want y'all to Google that. They found a slave ship under the World Trade Center. I forgot what the name of the ship was, but it was a it was a smaller ship. It wasn't for the whole transatlantic ocean um, voyages, but it was going from New York to the Caribbean. So it was bringing enslaved black people back and forth to New York and the Caribbean. Google what I just told you. The media, they downplayed that. Well, they act like that shit didn't even happen. A lot of y'all didn't even know that. But there was a slave ship found, the, the remains of a slave ship found under the World Trade Center. They really, really minimize that. But Google that, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, man. And by, and by the way, guys, um, we have for, I think we got two days left for the Arutasase holiday package um, where you're going to get the Black History Book for Children. You're going to get my book, FBA Race Beta. You're going to get the... Um, Root Work Deodorant, Root Work Towel, Buck Breaking DVD, American Maroon Blu-ray, and a whole bunch of other great, great um, um, items 
for one low bundle rate. And that bundle deal is only available for two more days. You get that at hiddenhistorymuseum.com. Hiddenhistorymuseum.com, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get my brother Afro Elite on here. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. My man, how are you, brother? I'm good. How you doing, bro? I mean, what's on your mind? I wanted to speak on what you were talking about earlier as far as the Jonathan Major situation and how they had proof and everybody essentially knew from the beginning that Jonathan didn't actually do this. But a lot of people right. jumped on him uh, really to attack him and really black men as a proxy under the guise of, quote unquote, protecting women. And what's interesting about that situation is that you don't see the same with Josh Giddy. The same people who are talking about we got to protect women and it's not a safe place for women. They do that with black men as a justification to attack them or to to cancel them, essentially. But when you see the situation with Josh Giddy or any other white celebrity or person, you don't see the same Me Too people saying anything about that. Right. Absolutely. Real talk. They're very quiet about that. And they let that nonsense go on. And this is why I was saying earlier, we got to be very careful about dogpiling on people in situations like that. OK, we got a lot of folks in here. Oh, Lord. T.S. Giselle. All right. T.S. Giselle. <clears throat> what do you have to say, T.S. Giselle? Oh, my gosh. I got some news for y'all. Uh oh. Child, they say the FBA doll, Miss Foundational Black American. Child, oh, let me just post it in the Jumbotron. No, just say what you got. I don't know what you're trying to. So I was in the chateau sipping on some age 26 year old champagne. And I was just like, well, let me check my 23 and me. Um, which I did 20, I did my test years ago, probably four or five years ago. Girl, look what they're trying to say about the doll. This is news what, to me. What they say? You a, a Sasquatch or something? What are you? Are you are you part Neanderthal? What are they saying about you? Oh, it it never gave that. Um, it's saying that the doll has Caribbean ancestry from Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, okay, okay. I've okay. never heard of such. Um, to mm -hmm. my knowledge, all four of my grandparents. Well, I'll take that back. Three of the four were born in the Carolinas. Um, there's one that's a little sketch, but I won't get into my personal life. But so are you saying that you're a certified tether? That's not what I'm saying, because okay. this okay. just I took my test years ago and this just popped up. Um, oh, OK, but yeah, the, the FBA doll got a little treated them girls, apparently. <laughs> okay. well, and also another thing, another thing, Willer, I didn't know that you were a rapper and I, I found some raps of you. Hold on. Is this you busting a rhyme? Hold on. Now, don't you start with me. I heard you busting on that. <laughs> I didn't know you could flow like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you had rhymes like that, T.S. Giselle. All right. Let me see who else we got. Um, let me see. We got a lot of people in here. And by the way, family, um, if you are in Los Angeles or if you want to come to L.A., we got a great event happening at the Hidden History Museum this Saturday. Why don't y'all come on and join me this Saturday? We got a lot of great comedians that's going to perform. We got music. We got complimentary food. We're going to eat good, drink good, party good, have a great time at the Hidden History Museum um, private event. But you got to get your tickets at HiddenHistoryMuseum.com. HiddenHistoryMuseum.com, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Brother uh, Terrain, Brother Terrain, Brother Terrain in the building. Crazy damn night I done heard over here since Chappelle's show was on, bro. It's wild in here. <laughs> 
Real talk. Hey, I'd love to get your thoughts on the situation with Malika Andrews um, and the whole situation about making apparently black men the boogeyman for every sort of pathology and predatory behavior from sports and then situation with Jonathan Majors as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was talking about the Jonathan Major situation earlier, and Malika again. When they, you know, and they rightfully booed her when she came out here to a public event. So that shows the popularity that these people have, which is zero. A lot of people don't rock with these figures that they put on TV, but they put folks on TV knowing that they're going to push their agenda. These folks don't even have popularity in these streets, but they know who to get to push out here in the media in order to keep their agenda up. They know who they're going to get. They know how to get tethers and bed winches to do the dirty work for them. They're very good at doing that. Uh, let's get Joel. Let's get Joel in here. Joel, what's up, brother? Joel. Turn the microphone on, Mr. Joel. Oh, hi, uh, Tariq. Uh yeah, I, I like what you said about tethers and bedwenches. That's always always a good one. There you go. There you go. And anything else on your mind, sir? Oh, not too much. It's uh, it's a cloudy day today. Uh, there's some wind rustling through the trees, and uh, yeah, just just thought I'd uh, come and say hello. And you're out there in Australia, right? Yeah, that's right. There you go, my man. Will you enjoy your kangaroo and your koala? And you have a good one, brother. All right, let's see who else we got. We ain't going to be on here too, too long. We're not going to be on here too, too long. But we do have a lot of folks in here, as we always do. And again, y'all need to go to hiddenhistorymuseum.com and um, get tickets to join us here in L.A. this Saturday night, starting at 7 p.m. We're going to have a great time Saturday night. All right, let's get um, Mimi. Mimi. Let's get Mimi. All right, Mimi. Keep going. You be nice, I'll be nice. Shh. I'm not going to say nothing. That's it. We good? Capiche. Oh, yeah, because I want him to. I want him in a different way. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker, that motherfucker was able to take his car. And drew it in like, mm -hmm. So, I said, shh. Okay. Anyways, how the fuck does Hunter Biden not show up the court? He was across the street. The fuck, bitch? You better show the fuck up. Where is Wesley Snipes? Where is Martha Stewart? How the fuck did motherfucker say, well, I have a drug addiction? Yes. Is crack, rock cocaine. It isn't glamorous or cool or kid stuff. It's the most addictive kind of cocaine and it can kill you. What's really bad is nobody knows how much it takes. So every time you use it, you risk dying. It isn't worth it. Look, everybody wants to be cool, but doing it with crack isn't just wrong could be dead wrong. Okay. All right, ma'am. Thank you so much, Mimi. All right. That was not me. That was you. Lord. God damn have mercy. Lord. Oh, goodness. Y'all get, stop cutting the dope with fentanyl out here in these streets. Please stop cutting the dope with fentanyl, trying to stretch it out. Y'all stop stepping on the damn dope. Y'all know people can't handle that shit. Damn. Okay. Anyway. Let's see. Can we get one more? I don't I, I really don't have the energy for that. You know what? I, I don't have I don't have the energy. I don't want no more calls. All right. That that's that's enough for me. All right. That is enough for me. Anyway, guys, look, go to hiddenhistorymuseum.com. Go to hiddenhistorymuseum.com, get the Rutasase holiday, holiday package, and also get tickets to join us this Saturday at the Hidden History Museum. We've got a great celebration, hiddenhistorymuseum.com. Anyway, guys, you guys have a great night. Stay crack-free. Papi Akute and Lola to the family. Peace. <laughs>